friends today we are going to solve third problem in relation to fire insurance claim yes in this problem gross profit ratio is not given and uh, already the stocks were undervalued then average class will apply yes look at the problem problem number 3 undervaluation of stock gross profit not given and average class will apply a fire occurred in the premises of raj on 19th july 89 so we have to prepare proforma trading account till 19th july 1989 from the following particular ascertain the loss of stock and prepare claim for insurance yes stock on 1st january 88 given stock on 31st december 88 given sales for 88 given purchase for 88 given then purchases from 1st january 89 to 19th july 89 given then sales from 1st january 89 to 19th july 89 is given the stocks were always valued at 90% of the cost okay so the stocks are valued at 10% below the cost price because it is valued at 90% so we have to increase the opening stock and closing stock value we have to increase the opening stock as well as closing stock value because already it was valued at 90% so we have to increase 10% the stock saved from the fire was rupees 21600 the policy amount was rupees 75600 so definitely in this problem we have to apply the average class here the fire occurred on 19th july 1989 at the same time gross profit is not given so we have to find a gross profit ratio of the previous year the previous year starts from 1st january 19 88 to 31st december 1988 so previous year starts from 1st january 88 to previous year starts from 1st january to 31st december of 88 so we have to prepare a trading account of raj for the year ended 31st december 88 so we have to ascertain the gross profit of free previous year it should be converted into gross profit ratio then only we have to prepare the proforma trading account of the fire period yes students now i am going to prepare trading account for the previous year our previous year starts from 1st january ends on 31st december 1988 yes previous year trading account debit side first item opening stock so the opening stock is given value 36000 720 it is valued at uh, 90% so its value 90% we should convert into 100% so it is valued at 10% below the cost price so 36720 divided by 90 because it's valued at 90 it should be multiplied by 100 so we have to get 100% stock value then closing stock is given by closing stock the closing stock value 32400 it is valued at 90% we should uh, calculate for 100% so 32400 divided by 90% into 100 so closing stock also converted into 100% so opening stock valued at 90% closing stock also valued at 90% we should convert into 100% then sales for the previous year by sales the sales for the previous year 216000 then purchases of the previous year the purchases of the previous year purchases of the previous year 146400 then purchase and sales for the current year is given that we will use for the preparation of proforma trading account now we will find the gross profit of the previous year 216000 plus 36000 so 252000 252000 minus 40800 minus 146400 64800 is the gross profit earned by raj during 80 
eight. This gross profit should be converted into gross profit ratio. So gross profit ratio formula is gross profit divided by sales into hundred. Gross profit we know sixty four eight hundred. Sales of the previous year two lakh sixteen thousand multiplied by hundred. So divided by two lakh sixteen thousand multiplied by hundred. So sixty four thousand eight hundred divided by two lakh sixteen thousand multiplied by hundred will get thirty percent. This gross profit we can apply for the fire period. Yes. Now we'll start. Uh, we'll start to prepare performa trading account. We'll start with the opening stock. So the closing stock of previous year considered as opening stock of current year. Then we'll take purchases from first January eighty nine. To nineteenth July, eighty nine. Its value one lakh seventy six four hundred. Then we'll take sales from first January eighty nine to nineteenth July eighty nine. Its value one lakh eighty thousand. Gross profit already we ascertained as percentage. So sales one lakh eighty. On that we should calculate thirty percent. So one lakh eighty. Multiplied by thirty percent, so gross profit of the current year is fifty-four thousand. Now we'll find stock on date of fire. Stock on date of fire balancing figure. I said the debit side value heavier than credit side to find the stock on date of fire. Two lakh sixty-six four hundred. Two lakh sixty six four hundred minus sales of the fire period eighty six thousand four hundred. We ascertained stock on date of fire. Then we have to find the actual loss. Then we have to find the actual loss. The formula is stock on date of fire. Stock on date of fire. Just now we ascertained eighty six four hundred minus. Saved stock, salvaged stock. The stock saved from the fire twenty one thousand six hundred. So eighty six four hundred minus twenty one thousand six hundred will get sixty four thousand eight hundred. This we called actual loss. Then we have to find the claim. Since uh, policy value is given, we have to apply the average clause. The form formula is amount of policy. Amount of policy divided by stock on date of fire multiplied by actual loss. Amount of policy given in the question seventy five thousand six hundred. Stock on date of fire we ascertained eighty six thousand four hundred. Actual also also we ascertained which is sixty four thousand eight hundred. If we use this formula, we'll get a claim. So seventy five six hundred divided by eighty six four hundred multiplied by sixty four eight hundred will get a claim of fifty six thousand seven hundred. Students, we completed third problem in relation to financial claim. In next class, we will solve different problem. Till then, bye and thank you.